So starting off, I'm going to want to start off on a G chord. Um, and on the G chord, that's a standard G chord. You want to move your third finger onto the second string on the third fret, and then your pinky on the first string on the third fret. So that you get so that you get these two notes on the bottom. And you want to strum it like this. Or down up, down up, down up. So So we're gonna go G, B minor, which is just a, a, a bar chord. Um, if you know how to do basic bar chords, B minor. Um, if you don't know how to play a bar chord, you can easily find a quick little thing, a, a little picture of what it looks like. Um, but it's essentially just a, a regular bar chord here, just moved down, and that makes a B minor. So. here to an E minor. And then what I do is play this chord. Now what this chord is, is when you're playing the E minor, you're going to play the E minor. And then you're going to lift your ring finger so that it's just your middle finger here. And then your pinky is going to go on the second string on the third fret. And you're going to strum all the strings. So. And then after that, we're going to go to a C. And I like to play the C with a G in the bass. So a general sort of standard C is played like this. But I uh, move my pinky where my ring finger is and then put my ring finger on the sixth string up here on the third fret. Or, sorry, I messed that up. Yeah, so C just move this, use your pinky instead of the uh, ring finger, and then put the ring finger on the low E string on the third fret. Just like that. And then it goes into the verse. I'm just gonna play this. I do right here may not be on the record but what I like to do is um, do this so what what I'm doing here is a C and I'm lifting these two fingers up and then putting my second finger or middle finger on the second fret on the fifth string so So, yeah, so. And then I go down to an A minor, but I lift my first finger off so that it's just. So, just these two. So, it's an E minor, just move down. So. to the G. C, and then this is where the change here is. You can play an F chord. You can either play an F, or you can play this version of an F, which is basically, so on a, a standard F, um, a standard F is played like this. But I like to um, include um, the fifth string here on the third fret. So I move my ring finger up to the fifth string, and then my pinky goes below it on the fourth string. So, and that just makes the F a little bit more full. And then this first finger here 
um, instead of barring it on the first two strings, I just place it right on the second string on the first fret. So. So. And then to E minor, and then to this chord again. I like to sort of cycle through. This time I'm playing an F. E minor. C. G. And then the drums come in right here. Da, ba, 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 ba. C. Turn you on that part, so now we're going here. And I'm not really sure what the guitar is doing here, it's just kind of like strumming in the background and then kind of stops. So you could do a lot of things, you could just stop playing, or you could kind of like kind of move up and sort of go with the strings. But I might just kind of stay on the E minor while the, that whole build up is happening, just light strumming like this and then for the next part Paul's part uh, where the piano comes in strumming an E E major here to a D E and then B7 I was almost gonna play the B here you could play it here but I think it's on a B7 in the song so E. D. B7. E. Then C. G. Open E string, a G, D, A, C, and back to G here. about covers it for the song. Pretty simple acoustic part overall, nothing too crazy going on. It's kind of same sort of strumming pattern throughout. Anyway, I hope that video helped if you're trying to learn how to play this song or curious on um, how to play this song. And uh, if you like this video, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you in the next one.